don't think people realize how many people go hungry on a day-to-day -day basis. And sometimes when our clients are eating a meal, that may be the only meal that they eat all day. We speak about disasters and emergencies that happen all over the country within the state. The people we serve are in a state of emergency every single day. When you're mentioning hunger, we're talking about poverty. And as we're talking about an economic downturn, we're seeing poverty rise. Hunger and poverty looks completely different with every person that walks through the door. The issue of hunger does not just impact low-income people. The, the issue of hunger impacts all of us. We shouldn't have to have the food bank, but we do. And we're, we should be grateful and we should fund it and we should support it because there's a need. There's a real need in this state. We've heard from so many food shelves and meal sites around the state that they are seeing people walk through their doors for the first time ever this year. It's 40% working people. It's more than 20,000 children under the age of 18. You know, the face of hunger has spared no one. If people don't have access to food, they simply cannot get through the day. It's very stressful to have to wonder where you're going to eat and how your, how your family's going to eat. They're choosing whether to pay their mortgage bill or whether to pay their electric bill or whether to eat. You know, those are decisions that hopefully many of us won't have to ever come to, but it's, the reality is they do. I'm a regular member here. I come here um, at least once a month to get food if I need it. I'm a disabled veteran and I live on a disability check every month that uh, doesn't cover all of my expenses. Thankfully for that case, the food shelf is here to help me out. What the food bank does with food shelves like us is so much more than pass out food because you're addressing the systemic problems of poverty. And you have that sense of security that you know you're going to be able to eat dinner tonight and tomorrow night and a few more nights along after that. In the work they do with the local partners, they're able to bring as far as actual food resources far beyond what the partners would be able to access on their own. I can call them with needing a freezer to needing more meat to needing help finding a new location. The food shelves cannot do this by themselves. It is a huge job. There are 270 sources of food throughout the state of Vermont. And those of us who don't access this don't really know about it. It's not entirely visible. But, you know, when, you di when you're distributing 7 million pounds of food a year, it's going somewhere. We distribute about 600,000 pounds of food monthly. We have to be on our game and move it just as fast as we can. Can you imagine having to feed 500 people in a little bitty town out in the middle of Nowheresville without some sort of support? Food support, money, program support, certification training. They don't only provide food and programs, they provide a network. We offer technical support and, and grant opportunities and opportunities to connect with the anti-hunger network in Vermont. Every time we make strides forward, it gets harder. We're constantly looking at new solutions to the problem. How can we more effectively and in a better way approach this issue? We're utilizing food that would otherwise go to waste, which is A number one in food banking. We've had to look for new sources of food. That's why we've gone and, and purchased a farm. We're gonna start growing food. That's why we're gleaning. At least 50% of the sites that we serve don't have any sources of fresh vegetables. And so this is really the only vegetables that a lot of families are getting. We're an organization that is excellent at rescuing food. In the process of taking some of that rescued food and turning it into meals, the people who actually do the work are part of a job training program. I just came here to basically learn different techniques of cooking. You know, that's the most exciting part to see how far your money can stretch and you're also helping the community while you're learning. It offers me an opportunity that I wouldn't be afforded if I had just been on a regular program of social services. Um, it's actually opening up some different options for me. This just spread out my options. It also makes me contribute back to the community. It's really been good to me and my kids. 
It's impressive what you can do when you put your mind to it. And when you get a lot of people putting their minds to it, it will really blow you away. Everyone has the same mission when they're there, and it's unbelievable to witness um, just the heart that these people have. It's, it makes you want to do the same. It's contagious. I'm always amazed at the effectiveness of what they do towards achieving their mission. We are completely built on social capital. It's, it's the awareness, it's the donors, it's the volunteers, it's our network partners. You know, it's our employees here who are all so amazingly committed to our mission. We're dedicated to get the job done because of the need and that it's so important. It's, it's so important to get the job done every day. And we do. To the Vermont Food Bank, my message would be, thanks for all your support. <laughs> I work with some really amazing people who are really passionate about the work that we do. The Vermont Food Bank is about gathering, about sharing, about nurturing. The, the end result is helping people transform their own lives. To make the situation better, to make a difference, that's why I'm here every day. That's why we're all here every day. That's what the food bank is about.